decoration. Yep. Still wall. This is some wall decorations here. But yeah, I never really got around trying Genshin it, but one of my friends was playing it, but I never really got around trying it myself, to be honest. I guess I prefer this mirror here. Thank you for the follow, man, Sayonara. Appreciate that a lot, bro. I gotta play some floor decorations now. How the hell do I... I need some... Uh, floor. Yeah. Can't put it over there. No, let me. I, I don't really want to do that. Actually, Is there any? I cannot put some like other decorations in. Yeah, decorations. There we go. I need one more. And just, uh, what else do I got here? Oh, I could have hanged some artwork, bro. How do I rotate this? Oh, I want not know one to rotate on. Good work. Shall we move on? Yeah, cool. Let's move on here. What do you got for me? I've conjured everything I can. What's next, Professor? I think you're ready to take on alteration. The altering spell will allow you to customize any conjured item. You can change the colors, patterns, and styles of your furniture to suit your taste. Let's get started, shall we? Watch closely as I demonstrate how to perform the altering spell. Okay. Okay, that's kind of a tough. Not really. There we go. Perfect. Just aim your wand at any conjured item and perform the altering spell to customize it. Okay, let's uh, get the altering spell over here then. No, 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 I did not mean to do that here. That's not what I'm trying to do. There we go.
probably be able to change the color of the chair, right? I don't change the color of stuff, man. I don't change color. Oh, okay, there we go. Nicely done. Now you're ready for something a little more advanced. Okay. You can use the altering spell directly on the room's architecture. Try these new designs on the floor or balcony. No, I like this one. This one looks so much better, bro. I know it doesn't work on that much at Your space might benefit from a bit of ambiance, don't you think? Deke, would you mind? Of course, Professor Weasley. Professor Weasley showed Deke this bit of magic some years ago. Deke thinks you'll enjoy it. Uh, come hey, and man. talk to Deke when you're ready. I'm ready. Whenever you are. Professor Weasley said I should ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Natural and earthy. I'd like the room to feel natural and earthy as though I'm outdoors. Sounds perfect. Harry Potter, yes sir. This is uh, Hogwarts Legacy, man, Niku. How you doing, bro? How you doing? Good, great to hear mm -hmm. that, man. Quite a difference. Kind of looks the of course, same, not gonna lie. You needn't keep this style if you don't like it. You can always ask Deke to change it back. Now Check you what have you learned doing. a hey, bit let's about go, man. alteration. Thank you, Professor. The room is full of possibilities. Kinda Indeed. Is. No matter how much time I spend here, the room always manages to surprise me. Okay, what is going on? The hell? An even bigger space. How did that happen? The room equips itself to your needs. It must have sensed that you needed more space to practice spell casting. If you'd like to customize the space further, you can use these spellcrafts. You'll find more of them both inside and outside the school. Thank you, Professor. I shall keep an eye out. Good. I'll leave you to it. This is your space now. Use it wisely. Okay. You wanted to ask you something. Your XP comes out, but the old one remains and it says copy the marking matchups that are made, but there's 
a new one now. Uh, maybe try try completing the 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 marquee matchups now and see if it works, bro. Try it out with a new marquee matchup, see if it works for you. Maybe it might work. To be honest, you never know. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? Actually, perhaps another time. Should you pick Navas in the pack? Honestly, I'd say Navas. I'd say go with Navas, personally. I personally say go with Navas, man. Then again, it's totally up to you, you know? But personally, I would probably go with Navas. You'll choose Zambota with him. Zambota might be better. Navas is probably going to be better for lengths, though. Let's look at this in the map here, and let's uh, fast travel somewhere around there. There it is. What is this here? It's Sebastian. Defense near the dog cart. So let's fast travel there. Ping pong smoke Zambrota. Oh, okay. Okay. Nice. Very, very nice. I have played against Ping pong quite a few times, and. He's not usually like that impressive against me, but if he works for you, honestly, that's all that matters, bro. If Frempong does the job nicely for you, that's all that matters, bro. That is all that matters. On another adventure, are we? Kind of, I guess. Let's go. Now let's wait over here. See what Sebastian has for us. Over here. I am here, Sebastian. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. Okay. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. All right. My this way. Hold on, let me just uh, get my... There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Revelio. Undercroft, I uh, see what this is here. You're so ex ex lazy to get the XP. Same thing, man. Same thing, bro. I'm very, very lazy to try to get any of the XP, to be honest with you, bro. How did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Govstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. Rebellion. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. He never confided in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. 
I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been here. So any other chest I missed? I don't think there's anything else I missed out. Let's talk to Sebastian then. I think I've seen ominous in potions. Or was it herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. But why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, as he'll be the first to tell you. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. Pope and injured again? You mean in real life he's injured spells. again? Really? Like what? Like the blasting curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Oh, well that sucks, man. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay, Sebastian, you beautiful man. It may man. take a while to get the feel for it. You remember the goal is to learn Shish. He's scored a few bangers in his time, the to be honest. The is Confringo. He has scored Very well. a few bangers in his time, not gonna lie, bro. There we go. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Confringo! Nice work. How's it feel? It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. That's it! I think I've got it. Well done. This is like a heat-seeking missile for this, this ability here. It's pretty nice. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do. Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening.
The book I found in the restricted section was missing some pages. That's about it. Pity. Didn't think you'd disappoint me with so vague an answer. I suppose with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, a bit more time practicing the blasting curse is in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Confringo! Let's get out of here. <laughs> this spell is kind of crazy, not gonna lie, bro. Pretty crazy spell, you know? Hello, Sebastian. Wait. You there? I can hear you. Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? That room's called the Undercroft. Ah, well, I was exploring and then suddenly found myself in a strange passageway. Don't lie to me. No one stumbles upon that room. Sebastian told you, didn't he? You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster. I am not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. Trust me, Ominous. I won't say a word. And Sebastian is a good friend. You shouldn't immediately assume the worst of him. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant... I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. <laughs> Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. All right, what is this over here? Oh, don't do that. That's not necessary. Let's see what I got to do here. Now let's report the fake here. Now I should probably actually just fast travel away. I'm way faster that way.
Like a full bidden cheese tag? Yeah, I do. But that's just because I, I stay near you too long so your smells get... Your smell does get on me a little bit, you know. That's probably why it does that, I'm gonna lie. Probably why it does that. But let's take a pack of piss off tosser. What did you get? What did you get from it, bro? Randall Leap. Oof. Big oof. Uh. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Uh. Oh, it's that thing that I don't know how to do that actually. Pussy, pussy, pussy. I was hoping to see you. You're back. Finally. Minister Spavin talks more than he listens. Ranted on and on about rogue dragons. Wouldn't listen to a word about goblins. Speaking of which... Listen, Professor. So much happened while you were away. Nearly Headless Nick asked me to get some rotten roast beef from the kitchens. Rotten roast beef? Yes, I thought it was odd too. But then we took the roast beef to Sir Podmore of the Headless Hunt and... You met the Headless Hunt? <laughs> that must have been interesting to say yes. that. Yes, and then I had to find Richard Jackdaw's head in the pumpkins so that he'd tell me about how he died. Who on earth is Richard Jackdaw? He was a student here long ago. Anyway, he told me about a secret cavern. I went there, and right next to Jackdaw's skeleton, I found the missing pages. You found the pages? I did. And because Jackdaw had followed the map they contained, when I found the pages, I found the location on the map. Believe it or not, it's a room below Hogwarts. Why am I not surprised? Shall we? I was hoping you'd say that. Oh, and we'll need to bring the book. All right, let's go over there. The room is called the Map Chamber, by the way. And the portrait of Percival Rackham awaits us there. Professor Rackham. I look forward to meeting him. How did this Jackdaw get the pages from the book? Evidently, Peeves stole them, and Jackdaw stole them from him. Oh, Peeves. Travel is always much more enjoyable with a friend. Put a false travel down here, okay.
What is going on, bro? A map. There's Hogsmeade. And over here, the Forbidden Forest. And, of course, Hogwarts. It's magnificent. If only you were here to see this. Who's he talking to? Huh? Oh. Hello, Professor Rackham. We've placed the book on the pedestal as you asked. And this is my mentor, Professor Fig. How do you do, Professor Fig? And you, my young friend, see now why you needed to return with the book? I do. I also see why you refer to this room as the map chamber. That you have come this far tells me that you possess extraordinary magical ability. The, nice, nice the potential and power of which will unlock. You can't, you can't, you don't, you can't donate worthy. to me sadly on YouTube because I'm not like each of sponsored yet on there. Will in time but, hey, appear gladly say on the for you, bro. Trials that will test you and give you access to invaluable knowledge. Trials that you must complete on your own. Do you recall the pensive memory you viewed in my vaulting Gringotts? Not really, no. I do recall seeing the memory, but I don't remember all love the you, details. Love you, love you too, man. My friend Charles and I spoke of the port key and of trials we'd created for one who could see traces of ancient magic. Charles is another of the keepers, a designation we gave ourselves centuries ago, in light of the knowledge that we have been bound to keep hidden. Until, perhaps, now. So, the passage from your ruins to Gringotts, everything in the vault, the restricted section, finding this room, none of these was a trial. They were an important part of the journey, but they were not trials themselves. The fact that you have come this far, however, bodes well. The trials were designed to ensure that the power and knowledge we have kept secret for so long does not fall into the wrong hand. They will test your abilities, both innate and learned. But of equal importance, everything you witness as you complete the trials will inform what you choose to do with all that we share. You will need patience. The trials have much to teach you. It will take time. I'm afraid we don't have the luxury of time. We have waited this long, Professor Fig. Surely a few more. Respectfully, sir, while I do not know the secret you keep, I do know that our young friend here has seen traces. Traces of a powerful dark magic being wielded by goblin kind. And we encountered an uncommonly powerful goblin wielding such magic as we prepared to leave your vault at Gringotts. We may already be too late. This is grave news indeed. Young friend, do you trust Professor Fig? I do. Then, in the light of your considerable <laughs> skill that. and all you have already accomplished, we shall begin. You will find the location of the first trial marked on the map below you. Whilst Professor Fig may assist you in locating the trials, they may be completed only by one with our ability. Shall we have a look? I know that tower. It's not far. You may have seen it yourself. I don't think I have. Perhaps your young friend is not as well traveled as you think. As your mentor, the least I can do is go ahead to make sure it is safe. Join me as soon as you can. Do you know anything about the tower? You said that you know that tower. What can you tell me about it? Not much, I'm afraid. I've passed it dozens of times. It's north of Hogsmeade. My recollection is that it seems abandoned. Clearly, however, the tower conceals more than meets the eye. See you there. I'll find you at the tower as soon as I can. 
Until then, be careful and do not tell anyone where you're going. Seems like Bro wants to kill me there, man, not gonna lie. Uh. Revelio. It's time you learned, Iglesias, the freezing spell. It is an efficient way to cool down a heated situation. But first, I will need you to complete a few tasks. Once you've done that, come and see me. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, let's see. Well, let me let me learn some of those spells here, bro. Uh, sorry. So let's go over there then. Actually, guys. Hmm. Yeah, let's go over there. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, don't think that's the case, but if you say so. If you say so. <coughs> oh, God damn, okay, alright, let's go. Uh, just equip this here. How do I get on my broom, by the way? I don't know how to do that. How do I get on my broom, guys? Rebellion. I fly, bro. I want to know how to fly. Go to the settings real quick. But I want to see how to fly, boys. I want to see how I can fly here. How do I fly? Let me go to the settings. How do I fly around the place? Display, graphic, gameplay. Okay, let's see. That's aim, open to wheel. Shom comes to us, just in for heal. Value your spell menu, and I will disable lock with character. Ancient magic, activate spell set. And use action spells, six spell set. Ancient magic throw, potato, perfect punch ball. How do I fly then? I don't know how to do that. Uh. 
Do I not have a broom? Pretty sure I do have a broom, don't I? Maybe I have to equip my broom? Hold up. Bees. Yeah, I don't have bees right now. Alright, whatever, 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 whatever. Let's go. Actually, let's go to the Quidditch uh, pitch or whatever. What's that? What's that Quidditch mission at here? Locate on map. And. Set the waypoint over there. Rebellion. Oh, okay, there's a chest here. to where I need to go here then. Well, since I'm here, let me sell some more stuff here anyways, you know? Since I am in here anyways right now. Rebellion. Nice to see you again. What are we looking for today? That item is of the highest quality. Did I not buy the broom last time? You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Nice doing business with you. Let me equip my new stuff here and then sell the Thanks old for one real quick. By. Hope to see you again. Did I buy two brooms here? Yeah, I do have two brooms. See how? I know I bought two brooms, man. God damn it! Why did I do that? I don't know. It is what it is now, it's a bit too late for that. Alright, sell all of the old stuff now. That we've equipped the new stuff. What are we looking for today? Let's get this out of here. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. How do I summon my broom? Ah, oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's go over there. It's probably going to tell me how to how to do it then. Does it get any more cozy than Hogsmeade? How am I supposed to know that, bro? There we go. So yeah, I have to be... Oh, okay, so I have to be in an area that allows light. Okay, cool.
a two multi pop here. Oh, there's another one there. They just have to find one more now. Where the hell is it at? Oh, I could have just done that, but I'm such a dumbass, man. Yeah, just being able to fly there just makes it a lot easier for me, honestly. Three. Okay, that's my dad there. Stop that, but he's gonna be full here now. This would have been a pain, like, imagine I'm struggling on a controller, but imagine how annoying this would have been on my keyboard, to be honest. Rebellion. So where'd the last one at here? That's cool then. See the quests here. Return to Madame Kagawa. Let's return to her. Where's she at? Is she inside? Oh, good. Might be inside, to be honest. those tasks marvelous uh, news that you will be joining the fact that as a new flying instructor yes see yeah, I'll work together how to school the same before that night I'm near the time the one never knows a short forward see you soon if you have any questions you can tell please don't send me an all 
That shields off easily. Oh, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I think for the place to cancel quidditches and you're joining a new professional Google stream is my, my stream. And below my chest will not be read or facilitated for the professional who is the insist that we must refer to the headmaster and shake me to break this on my own. I have the and channel it for myself, but it's not at the same time. Parents can pitch nothing is please could also speak to the headmaster to clear with me. Shall I be miserable if they can't play Quidditch properly for this entire thing? Okay, cool. This year's out of chest. Oh, it's a lock on there, okay. Madam Kagawa, I completed the list of tasks you assigned. Wonderful. I trust you became more familiar with your broom through the process? Yes, Professor. That's good to hear. Keep it up, and perhaps one day you'll have a spot on the Quidditch team. If Black ever permits Quidditch again. Well, with those tasks out of the way, let us get started. Glacius. I pay attention to your wand work. Oh. Well done. I'd recommend that you practice your new spell here in my office before taking it out into the world. I'll see. What can the spell do here? Glacier, there you go! Catching on quickly! Levioso! Expand the armors! Glacier! I think you're there, Levioso! But you can be practicing on this Pretty cool. Pretty cool spellio, I guess. I think I'll just get out of here. That's uh, we must save the game a quarter of the day here, boys, to be honest. Just, uh, yeah, let me go into the save settings. There we go. And let's save it up, you guys. Should probably have auto save, but let me just. Okay, so I've played seven hours so far, which is. Okay, now I'm on my eighth power, which is not bad at all. But yeah, guys. Cool day here boys, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Much love, thank you all very much for the support guys, I appreciate it a lot. Bye bye, take care everybody.